Let's move to this now, and it's coming out of the Eastern Cape, a significant development in the University of Fort Hare killings. Now, five people have already been arrested in connection with the murder of Mbuneli Vesele, the bodyguard of the university's VC, and also in connection with the murder of Pietrus Roots, who's the head of fleet, was the head of fleet management at the university. The five also stand accused of the attempted murder of the VC himself, Sekele Bushlungu. Now, Bushlungu has been on a campaign to stop corruption at the university. This is believed to be the motive for the attacks. Now, this past Friday, big development, a sixth arrest, a police constable from Umtata. Now, to tell us more, I am joined by Lukolo Chiali. He's a spokesperson for the National Prosecuting Authority in the Eastern Cape. We're apologizing in advance for the quality of the line. He's got load shedding, but this is a really important story. So we're taking him on a telephone line and we're hoping for the best. Uh, Mr. Chiali, thank you so much uh, for your time. We understand the accused appeared in the Alice Magistrates Court this morning. Are you able to tell us who this police officer is and exactly what they've been charged with? Okay, the, the name of the police officer is Lindoku Shemanjati. He is 31 years old. He's a constable based in, in Tata's Madeira police station. He is charged with the same charges that the other five accused are, are alleged to have committed. Uh, uh, mainly, it is the two murder charges and the alleged. Uh, attempted murder charge uh, leading to the Fort Head Vice Chancellor. All right. Could you tell us uh, what is his suspected role and involvement in these killings? It is the state's case that he had a very pivotal role in, in, in these killings because he's the one who allegedly organized the hitmen and he's the one who transported them from KwaZulu Natal to the Eastern Cape. Wow. Wow. So, um, and, and do you know what motive? Uh, is, is it clear uh, how he was involved and what would have motivated him to do something like this? For now, because the matter still has to be ventilated in a bail application, so we do not want to venture into uh, sharing uh, the, the evidence that we have before we present it to the court of law. I think it suffices to say that we are going to oppose bail uh, when he appears again on the 10th. Are you expecting to make more arrests? The investigation is still ongoing, so if, if the investigation is still ongoing, it is uh, still possible that more arrests are made because if you have investigation going on and then <clears throat> someone or if during the course of the investigation evidence is brought before the police that uh, implicates someone who has to be charged, then that person should be arrested and uh, charged. So mm -hmm. for now, we do not want to say we are, we are, we are done. Uh, it's still possible that someone is going to get arrested and then we were going to charge that person. Is it possible the charges could be, of the, the, the charges facing the six now, could be increased? Because at, there's at least one more death which has been regarded as suspicious. Um, there was, I think, a bodyguard who died in a car accident. Um, and then also the state witness, I think it was the state witness, Msingati Langa, who died in the car accident. Also another bodyguard. Is it possible that more charges are going to be added to the six already facing charges? Yes, uh, because the, the investigations, as I've said, are still ongoing. So if we, 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 we discover or the police investigating officers discover information that points or debates that we should be adding more charges, that will be done. For now, the investigations are not complete, so the investigations are still ongoing. But we want to keep uh, the accused in custody because we believe that they are dangerous and uh, mm -hmm. they would interfere with the investigations if they are released on peace. It was so alarming when we heard about this hit list that was in circulation with 13 names on it. I think at least the vice chancellor was top of the list. There's, that was an attempted murder in which his bodyguard died. Also, amounts of money to be paid uh, for each hit that was successfully completed. Um, 
Are you, as part of the crime-fighting body, I know that the National Prosecuting Authority deals with prosecutions, but is there a sense uh, that you've managed to uh, take out of circulation the people that may be behind this hit list? We strongly believe that we have the right people uh, in custody and the people that we are alleging to have uh, committed these crimes are the correct people. So for now we believe that at least we, we, we have the right people and we are going to present in court evidence to that effect. All right, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed. This is, of course, the uh, spokesperson for the National Prosecuting Authority in the Eastern Cape, Lukolo Tiali, talking to us about the sixth person who was arrested on Friday, appeared in court today. It's a police constable from Umtata, and the state believes that he was absolutely pivotal in this hit list plot uh, that he actually recruited uh, hitmen from KwaZulu-Natal and drove them to the Eastern Cape to carry out these crimes. The story is astonishing.